During World War II, Germany undoubtedly had a strong influence in the field of helicopters, as the German military had already put such equipment into practical use. However, after the end of the war, the development of German helicopters fell into a dilemma. For over a decade, there was almost no major action. Instead, several companies were conducting their own research and development, and subsequently achieved some technological results. Around 1960, the German army began to take interest in small observation and communication helicopters, and the Donier company designed the Du-32 ultralight helicopter. The Du-32 is a very special helicopter. The entire body can be folded and stored in a container that is only 3.8 meters long and less than 1 meter wide. When the container is unfolded, it becomes the helicopter's landing platform, and it can be towed by vehicles or transported after being folded, with the helicopter assembly taking only about 5 minutes. The aircraft is powered by a 90 horsepower BMW 6012L gas turbine engine. Unlike the direct power transmission of the propeller by the engine in the common helicopter, the engine of this aircraft is used to drive an air compressor. The compressed air is delivered through pipes and is sprayed out through nozzles at the end of the rotor blades, generating rotational power. This power system does not have bulky gearboxes and can also reduce some torque. Other light helicopters designed at that time also adopted this design. However, lower torque does not mean no torque, and stable control is also needed during helicopter flight. The Du-32 redirects the engine's exhaust directly backwards, and a short tail beam with a horizontal tail and a vertical tail is located under the engine. The high-temperature exhaust gas from the engine is blown onto the vertical tail, which is made of heat-resistant materials. The pilot can control the direction of the vertical tail to deflect the engine exhaust, thereby adjusting the aircraft's lateral direction. The aircraft has only one pilot, who sits in the exposed cockpit at the front, with his feet on the front landing gear. A rudimentary instrument panel is supported at the front end of the front landing gear, allowing the pilot to access basic flight data. Only three prototypes of the Du-32 ultralight helicopter were produced, and they were not put into mass production or service. The first aircraft made its maiden flight on June 29, 1962, and all three prototypes were lost due to various accidents. The design company also considered using it for agriculture and designed a larger two-seat version, but it was not actually used. In addition, they also developed the Du-32K unmanned aerial vehicle and other models. As a uniquely structured helicopter, the Du-32 is indeed too rudimentary, similar to a gyroplane. This structure limits the aircraft's performance, and its onboard equipment is rudimentary. Even the installation of a suitably powered radio requires careful consideration. Without the necessary equipment, it cannot reliably perform the reconnaissance, communication, and other tasks expected by the Army. However, on the other hand, its ability to be folded and quickly assembled for takeoff is also a major highlight. In a military context, it could also have unexpected effects. The Du-32 ultralight helicopter is 3.42 meters long, 1.89 meters high, and has an empty weight of 147 kilograms. Its maximum takeoff weight is 321 kilograms, and the rotor diameter is 7.5 meters. It has a maximum flight speed of 119 km per hour, a cruising speed of 100 km per hour, a flight endurance of 50 minutes, a maximum range of 90 km, a maximum climb rate of 4 meters per second, and a practical ceiling of 1000 meters.